think Jermaine was way smoother than me. I, I might be choking up here in a minute, so bear with me. I was told I had five to eight minutes, but if we go a little bit longer, sorry, guys. Um, I want to thank everybody here, obviously, um, the UCF football program, uh, the UCF sports program and sports family, um, the entire sports family, uh, or the entire family at uh, UCF. Um, my best memories as an adult, which I wasn't an adult then, but I don't, I don't think I am now, but my best memories um, coming up in football are, uh, started here at UCF, and I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity that I got here. Um, I was blessed to be in the first recruiting class um, by Coach O'Leary. Sorry, a little choked up. And I'd like to humble brag on the class of 04. I think we were the class that started um, the upswing for the UCF football program. And when I got the call um, that I was being inducted, it, it made me sit down and think about my time, my journey, uh, the people around me, and really made me think about, you know, when I was 18, 19, 20 years old, you think you can do it all by yourself, but when you get the call at 35 years old, you really think about all the people that are around you, um, the people that make it happen, and I'm blessed to have people in my corner my entire life, mentors, coaches, people that are, mean the world to me to help me throughout my career, my journey, and my life. Um, and I can't go through all of them, so I'll thank the people that are here so they don't get mad at me. <laughs> um, my parents, my stepdad, and my mom. <clears throat> missed one home game in my entire career at UCF, and it was because of a hurricane. <laughs> and my mom called me the day before the game and said, look, we can drive through the hurricane if you want us to. <laughs> and I was like, eh, it might not be too safe. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for instilling all the amazing things about myself. There's not many, but there's a few. <laughs> thank you guys so much. My wife, Kristen, who I met here at UCF in 2007. Um, whoop, whoop. You know, you talk about mentors and people that guide you. Uh, well, you have to have people that motivate you. And she has been that person for me since 2007. Um, I would not be where I'm at without my wife. I'm done with that one. <laughs> I'm not going to look that way again. Um, I think I thank Coach O'Leary already, but again, for recruiting me and having faith in me and bringing that first class into UCF and starting what I think is uh, one of the best trends in college football right now. And um, I can't thank you enough. And my offensive line coach who's sitting over here, Coach Gilbert, um, again, you don't think about things when you're 18, 19, 20 years old. You don't think about how important people are to you. But, again, like I said, when you're 35 and you get a call like this, you, you start thinking about it. And this guy, he taught me a lot on the football field, but he taught me a lot about being a man and how to raise a family and what that looks like. And I can't thank you enough, Coach. Love you, buddy. Um, my brother and sister, who aren't here, but my brother, he would, he would be the person that I would call before every single game since I was 18 years old at UCF through my entire career. 
um, and my sister who didn't give a damn about football. <laughs> and, and that's why I loved her. She didn't care about anything. She didn't care about football. She just loved me for me. Um, and like I said, you got to have people that motivate you, and uh, my family certainly did. Um, and I've got a list of people um, that I played with, and there were my trainers and support staff. Mary, Mary, where you at? So Mary is the only person that I still know at UCF. I, I think I'm getting old, but um, all these people, Thad Rivers, um, my trainers, Mary and Jeff, um, and I really started thinking about the guys that played around me and think about my offensive line. I've got a few of them here tonight. Dan Veenstra and Dominic Ignelzi. Dan was one of the people um, in my corner who would always shoot me straight, and he would um, wasn't always uh, the the nicest with with how he said things to me, <laughs> but it always it always uh, it always hit home. And he told me um, after a game my junior year. Hey man, if you're trying to go to the NFL, like that's not what they're looking for. That's not what they're going for. And I was like, damn. But again, you have to have people in your corner that care about you and they can say things like that to you. So Dan, I appreciate that. The next game, I kick some ass. <laughs> and I, again, I think about some memories that I had at UCF, um, winning uh, conference championships and. All that was very special, but going from 0-11 in 2004 uh, to winning our first game, the third game of my second year, and beating Marshall and having the crowd rush the field, uh, that was probably the best memory that I've, I've got on the football field at UCF. Um, and I can't, I, can't begin, I can't begin to thank everyone who's here and not here um, for tonight. This is such an honor. Sorry if I went over the time limit, guys. Um, but thank you guys all so much.